getting in their way. A very dynamic brother and sister duo from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Maya and Alex Shibutani. They are something else. Maya is just 11. I mean, just turned 11. In case you can't get the perspective for your screen, Alex is 14. And these two are tiny enough that I'm surprised they can get on amusement rides. But boy, <laughs> can they skate. It, they can barely see over the boards. <laughs> but look at the excitement in their positions, their heads. I mean, it's right, their choreography is very detailed, right through their fingertips and their head movements. It's interesting to watch them. It really is amazing. And when you consider, look at those uh, little Quick toe taps. Feet. When they're brothers and sister, of course, they grew up in the New York area. They're now skating out of Colorado Springs. They really get along well. So far, change of position in that spin, keeping it nice and fast when you change when they change. Changing the style, I wouldn't be surprised if you told me they were at seven and ten. There's <laughs> truly, except for that, they're very polished. Yes, parents must be terrific. Must be very proud of them. Nice little cheering section here. For them. But this is interesting. Maya injured her hip just three weeks prior to the competition and hasn't gotten back on the ice until this week passed. Well, you'd never know. With that huh? lift they just did, it was nice. And he lifted her up and then changed his position and his feet and kept her up in the air. Because even though they're tiny, you know, it's, he's still lifting a person and he's not that big himself. So it's, you know, to do that while skating and turning, it's very complicated. When you see a young woman, young girl, whatever, at this age, just 11, with this kind of talent, does that necessarily extrapolate to a tremendous future out of her? I don't think so, because I do remember here little problems with that uh, twizzles again. These are giving a lot of the kids a little bit of difficulty, I think. A little trouble. <laughs> Look at her go. Um, what you were saying about that, I saw some kids when they were nine years old and so entertaining and really fun to watch and you thought, oh, what a bright future. And, you know, when you get older, you question yourself. And sometimes your brain gets in your own way and you get a little scared and timid on the ice. And so it's really hard to say at this young age what the future holds. And, of course, in sports, you never know with injuries. Nice changing there and look at how tight this footwork is they're holding his energy look at them. very nicely done that was that was great that was a really nice routine wow maya and alex shubutani it's this footwork and the staying close but i like the spin there here they change position and yet the spin actually gets faster Nice change of pace there near the end of the program. These intricate hand movements and changing hands, keeping close. Look at they look very happy with that. Well, the crowd really enjoyed the performance, but was it gold medal winning caliber? We'll discover the answer to that question right after this. Maya and Alex Shibutani. Uh, diminutive people. Well, what a big time performance they put on. Yeah, we have a lot to look forward to in the future watching them because they can barely see above the boards and yet they're fast, strong, had a lot of good content in their routines and it was really exciting. And and just seemed to really enjoy themselves. Yes, they sure did. They had a lot of expression for such young kids. They seemed to really skate from the heart. I mean, their expressions seemed very natural. Well, Nancy, their expressions are most certainly smiles now, as Maya and Alex Shibutani are the champions of the Intermediate Dance Final, and they're backstage with our Andy Kreiser. All right, I'm here backstage with Maya and Alex Shibutani, and they're winners of the gold medal here at Nationals in Intermediate Dance. Congratulations. Tell me a little bit about your performance, and the audience's response was great. So tell me a little bit about that. Um, well, it's always nice when the audience responds in such a great way, and that just makes it even more enjoyable than it already is. And I thought our performance was great, so I'm overall really happy. Alex, what do you think of skating with Maya? Well, she's my sister, but uh, yeah, we have a great time out there practicing and performing, and um, I think that it's great that we're a team, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, awesome. Congratulations.
Thanks, Andy. And our congratulations to Maya and Alex Shibutani. Now, more exciting skating coming up as our focus shifts to the intermediate men's final. Here is where the competitors stand after their short program. Boston native Ross Miner is in first place, followed by the hockey player turned figure skating champion Max Aaron in second.